In this video, we're going to look at cleaning up our scan files using Cohera 3D software. Even with a good means of filtering, someone might end up with several unwanted scan points. This is actually quite common, like what we see here in this spherical shape. So we're going to look at removing that, as well as areas outside the actual scope of work, which in this case is just this building here. So anything picked up by the scanner out in the distance, such as vegetation, trees, and other surrounding elements, we're going to look at removing that as well as part of our cleanup process. If we look to the panel on the left, we'll see that there are multiple scans added to this project. And if we go up to the point cloud color and change the display to color by scan, we can identify the different scans that way as well. What I'm going to do now is remove the scan files and start from the beginning so I can create a tutorial that shows step by step how easy it is to clean up your scan files. Multiple scans can be individually loaded into the software. However, users also have the option of importing an existing Feral Workspace file. So that's what we're going to do here. I'll leave the subsample at all points and press OK. With the scans now added to our project, we'll drag and drop those to our document screen. And here in the lower left corner, we can see the progress of our scans being added to our document. And we can also press cancel at any time should we choose to. OK, so let's zoom out one more time just to see that we still have these points that we wish to get rid of. And now we'll pull back into the building and let's switch to a top down view. At this stage, I find it easier to switch to a uniform scan color, so let's do that. And then over at our selection tools, let's choose the box select tool. We'll start by clicking in the upper left hand corner and then drag the selection tool to the place we wish the selection to end. And this will select our building. I'll temporarily switch back to the point tool in case I need to center on a scan point. Now let's go up to our selection visibility and change that to selected. And then we'll switch back to the box select tool and this time we're going to use it to deselect. Deselecting scan points works the same way, but this time you'll want to hold down the control key and keep it pressed down when you make your first click and your finishing click for the box select tool. So I'll just move around the building here and look for points that I want to deselect. Areas that I don't want to be included in our export. Now the box tool isn't the only tool for selecting and deselecting points. So you're not just limited to a rectangle. We'll switch back to the point tool and choose a selected scan point. Next, we can either right click on the screen or press the keyboard shortcut Alt plus E and that will pull up the batch point cloud export. And this is where we're going to create a whole new set of files that only have the data here that we've selected on the screen. For file type, we'll choose E57. Under export points, we're going to choose the selected scan points. Now we can combine all these scans into an individual file, but for this here, we're going to go ahead and leave them as separate files. So we'll leave that unchecked. In another window here, I have the location that I want these files to be created. So I'm going to copy that path and then paste it into my destination folder. Then we have file name key. Anything that you enter in this field will be added to the scan name. And this is really good for keeping track of your scans. 
we want to keep these here that are being cleaned up separate from the originals. So what I'm going to do is place an underscore capital C that will be added to the file name, allowing me to identify these from the originals. From here, we'll press the export button. We can see the progress of our scan files being saved. And once that's finished, we can hit close. Okay, so now that we're finished, let's take a look at our new scans. So first we'll go over to the Project Explorer here and remove the existing scans that we have on screen. And then let's load our new scans. So we'll select those and press open. I'll keep the subsample level to all points and press OK. Then we'll select our scan folder and drag and drop that to our document screen. Now, since we chose to export these as E57 files, I'd like to also show these same scans loaded in Ferrocene. And then here in Autodesk Recap, and we can see all the scan locations are still intact. If you have any questions, you can click the contact link on our website and give us a call or send us an email and we can answer those for you. Have a great day and thank you for watching.